Yo, what's up guys? Tom Zen here, back again with a new video. On today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to do a solo money glitch, aka a car duplication glitch in GTA 5 Online. So if you guys want your garage looking like this, all you guys got to do is stay to the end of the video to know how to do this easy solo money glitch, aka car duplication glitch in GTA 5 Online. And also guys, if this glitch does work for you guys, I'd appreciate it if you guys go in the comment section, comment that the glitch did work for you, so that people who try this glitch when it's going to work, and they can also do this solo money glitch in GTA 5 Online. And also guys, I'd appreciate if you guys drop a like and subscribe with notifications on if you guys are new. And yeah guys, let's get to the video. Now guys, this solo money glitch has been working out for I believe almost a month now and Rockstar still has not patched it. Some of you guys might think it's patched or whatever, but this glitch is still working and I already um, posted this glitch before on the channel, right? Now guys, the requirements you're going to be needing on today's video is an MOC with a personal vehicle storage. Also, you're going to be needing a facility with some LG RHAs and make sure you guys have your target mode set to free aim, okay? As you guys can see, my tracking mode is set to free aim. If you guys don't know how to change, you guys can go to store mode and change it on there. Once you guys have all the requirements, all you guys want to do is just head inside of the MOC to start the glitch. Now, all you guys want to do is have the card that you want to be duplicating. Now, guys, if you're new to the glitches, um, you only keep the value of the like the duplicates when you sell them, you only keep the value of the upgrade So if you guys want to make the most money, I recommend using Benny's or Arena War vehicles, alright? Each one of these cars, the future trucks, sell for 1.8 million, so yeah But you guys can use whatever car, but just keep in mind, you're only going to be selling for very low pr um, prices If you're going to be using a different car that's not Benny's or Arena All you guys want to do now is just drive it out of your um, MOC and park it where I just parked it right now And just head outside Now, once you guys are outside, all you guys want to do is pull up your interaction menu and come over to hide options right here. Once you guys are on it, come into the jobs and everything's on hidden, make it custom. Once it is custom, you should now have all these blue jobs around the map. And all you guys want to do now is pick a job that's nearest to your facility. So, my facility right, is right here. And I have a custom job that I made myself right next to it. So, I'm going to go ahead and start this one up. So, basically, we're just going to be teleporting over to the facility, all right? Now, if you guys are close to your facility, you guys can just take an NPC car to your facility if you guys are near it, alright? But make sure you guys turn on the jobs. Once you guys are in the, lob the lobby thing, all you guys want to do is go into your friend list or messages, depends on which who's online or not. And all you guys want to do is just press the join game on them, okay? Now, I'm a, because no one's playing GTA Online on my friend list right now, I'm just going to go into my messages and then join the game through here, alright? Now, guys, before you go in the comments saying it's not solo or whatever it is, because they do not need to know that you're doing the glitch, alright? And for those two alerts, all you guys want to do is accept the first one and then decline the second. And yeah, now you should have teleport over to your facility. And all you guys want to do now is just head inside. And as I said previously, this is still solo because they do not need to know you're online. You just need the option to join their game. That's literally it, alright? So all you guys want to do now is come up to the vending machine right here. Now guys, a lot of you guys have problems with this part of the glitch. I don't know why, because it's really easy, like... Like, I'd be hitting it almost first try almost every single time. So, I, all you want to do is just press right D-pad, and then you're going to get the, the cola. And all you guys want to do is start up the job at this point right here. When your head is at this point, all you guys want to do is start up the job. So, there you go. So, hope you guys understand that part. So, we're going to be doing it for real this time, right? So, right D-pad, and then open up the map. And all you guys want to do is hover one over one of these jobs, and just ready to start up the job. So I guess we'll just get ready. So right now, start up the job when your head goes all the way back, all right? Once your head goes back, you should have this like little screen glitched out with like the loading screen and like nothing else. If you guys did it correctly, all you guys will do is just head over to the LG RH8s. But if you guys did not did it do it correctly and did like somehow spawn outside or something, if, or if you didn't mess it up or something, just redo the glitch. Don't worry, just redo it. Like just go back into the facility and go back to the vending machine and etc. And then just continue until you hit it. Now you guys want to do is get into one of your LGR chains, and as you guys can see, I have two future shots in here already. So when I finish the car duplication glitch, I should I should have three future shots, right? So I guys want to do is get into your LGR chain, and all you guys want to do is go to that same person you used to join game, all right? So press join game on this person or whoever's on your messages or friend list. Just press join game on him. Once you guys press join game on him, you're back in GTA. Start holding the gas. Like instantly start holding it. Just keep on holding it even for these three alerts. So accept this one, decline this one, and then accept this one. And if you guys did it correctly, you should like sp get out the car and then you should be able to shoot around. Like everything disappeared, like cars and stuff. If this happened, you are you guys are good. But if you guys did drive the LGRJ, um, then you messed it up. Like you did not press the gas like instantly, alright? Or you were not holding it. 
So make sure you guys keep on holding it until you get out the car, right? So second you get back into GTA, keep on holding the gas even for the three alerts. So once you guys have spawned outside of the facility, all you guys want to do is pick a job that's nearest to your bunker, right? So all you guys want to do is do that same teleportation glitch I did in the beginning. So just go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this part up because you sure I know how to do it because I showed it in the beginning. So you go now we're, we are inside of, of the bunker and as you guys can see the food truck is still in the same location i had it before and all you guys want to do now is just take it into the moc now guys before you take it in make sure you guys wait a couple seconds before driving in because if you guys drive straight in there like wait a couple eight seconds five seconds because if you go straight in there you're gonna get an infinite black loan screen so make sure you guys wait and if you guys get this alert saying personal vehicle storage is full this is how you know the glitch works because now you should have two dupes the original should be inside of your MOC and the duplicate should be inside of your facility. So showing you guys proof and I have three future shocks inside of my facility. I'm just going to go over to Legendary More Sports and then I'm going to come to store by price and pick an LG RHA. And then I'm going to just order it to my facility and it should say now there should be three future shocks, okay? So as you guys can see, there are three now in here. Before I only had two duplicates and now I should have three duplicates. And you guys can just keep on this doing this glitch over and over and over and you guys can fill up like 20 garages 30 garages with future shocks and sell each one of them for 1.8 million all right so, so guys this is a really easy solo money glitch you guys can do to make millions out of it and it's really easy and also guys if you guys want to rinse and repeat this glitch over again just drive the car out and once you guys drive it out just redo the steps right so just drive it out park it here and then continue doing the steps and you guys can just rinse and repeat and keep on doing this glitch over and over and fill up all your garages with duplicates so yeah i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if the glitch did work for you guys i'd appreciate it if you guys drop a like and subscribe if you guys are new and also guys make sure you guys go in the comment section and comment that the glitch did work for you so other people and try this glitch when it's gonna work and yeah guys tom's on signing out peace